Well, this microphone was muted. <laughs> What's up, everybody? DC2057, welcome, guys, to my NASCAR do NASCAR Darkest. <laughs> Today, we're going to be doing a video of the NASCAR Diecast. Now, why the heck am I going to be talking about this? Why the heck are you going into NASCAR? Because NASCAR has been my favorite since 2001. And, um, we're going to be showing you guys the boxes of unopened, and some of them, I think about four cars that are open. So, we're going to go ahead and get started showing you guys different NASCARs that I own. I have 28, and I basically get two more NASCARs to be able to complete my starting grid. So, when we receive, when we purchase the, uh, the Hot Wheels 6 lane and the merging tracks, then we can go ahead and um, set up the, the race that will make it from 6 lane to 3 lane as a 3 wide, uh, wide race, just like NASCAR. How we're going to do it? We'll see, I don't know. But <clears throat> before we begin, I'm going to show y'all something a little, something behind this little hidden, um, little hidden, how you say it, um, <laughs> favorite NASCAR driver. So, we're going to be opening the boxes first, and then towards the end, we're going to open this one. All right? So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to start off with the cars that are um, open already. Um, I think I showed y'all before on the DC2057 um, Discord. Can't even figure out what I was going to say. <laughs> But uh, I'd like to go ahead and show you guys the open box, open cars that were, that I have that was not purchased, but had it up for a long time. So we're starting off the number 20. The best part about this one, I can be able to zoom in so I can get you guys to see the detail of the vehicle. This is number 20 of the Home Depot, Tony Stewart. Get you guys to see the front side. And get you guys to see the left side. It is basically a Coca Cola car number 20. Alright, next up. Car number nine. I think it was supposed to be Bill Elliott's car. But I'm not seeing anything. This is the Dexter's Laboratory car number nine. Never seen that on NASCAR. First time to see something like that. And as you can see, it is Dexter's Laboratory. around so you guys can actually see the back side of it. Oh, there's a name on there, but I can't make it out. Pull back to make it more focused. Y'all see the name? Because I can't really read the name of it. Alright, so what we have next is the two call number 18s. Bobby Labonte. I always love this car, man. Look how nice it is. And it's got a Coca-Cola on the side. Because both of them are owned by Bobby Labonte, but one of them can be for uh, Kyle Busch. You know, we have two types of car number 18. Alright, so the next one, we'd like to go ahead and start off with these bigger packages. 
that I won from eBay. <laughs> Am I crazy, you guys? Yes, we are. Three stacks of five cards of each. We're not going to waste any time. We're just going to go ahead and open right up. Come on now, drivers. Sticking up real good. Woo. All right. So we have car number 16. Some of these cars, I don't know who they are, but I can look it up myself to see what drivers that drove these kind of cars. This one I know is from Mark Martin. Car number 29, which is very similar to Dale Earnhardt's car, which is uh, Kevin Harvick's. Car number 42, I have no idea who it is. And we also have another car number 29, which is Kevin Harvick's, but more of a silver. Alright. Y'all seen that? Move on to the next one. Bubble wrap seems that wants to close it back up. I'm like, nope. Here's RCA number 98. I like that printing. Very nice. Napa car number 15 is Michael Waltrip. I remember uh, watching on. Um, Daytona 500 back in 2001, Michael Waltrip won the race, the Daytona 500, with this car. Kodak. My father used to own Kodak uh, films. And this is where he bought it from them. Uh, he loves to take pictures. Pontiac. Mm, interesting. I didn't even see that. And we have Supercuts, the final car, number 12. Alright, we're going to open up the last one. Whew, they really tied it up in there. There we go. Alright, so we have car number 45, sprint, number 36, oh man, I always love the M&M's, I think Schrader drove this car when at the final lap. And we also have all-time favorite, car number 24, Jeff Gordon. We have the Stanley car, number 36. And, last but not least, car number 20, Tony Stewart. Always love the Home Depot. This one is like one of my favorites. Alright, there's more. We ain't stopping yet, but there's more. <laughs> there's more. So coming up next is car number 43. Everybody knows Bubba Wallace. So we'll go ahead and open him up. Boy, it sure is really dyed it up in there.
Uh oh, I don't want to rip the box. There we go. Couldn't figure out how to get it out until now. <laughs> When I saw Bubba Wallace's car, I was like, I bet you he was he has the same number that used by Richard Petty, and I found out that Richard Petty owns this car, and I was like, nice. And yes, I do support the Air Force, because I love the Air Force. That's why I've chosen it. And here's the back side of it. Oh, check this check out check this out. I didn't even see that. Nice. Back side. Aim high. I like that. And no, these diecasts are not for kids. These are collectibles. So don't even go there. safely put him back in the box. They're going to stay inside these containers until I have the tracks for them. And we can really do some racing. And it's by action. Next up we have car number 94. Kyle, uh, I think it's Kyle Larson if I'm not mistaken. No, actually, no. That Never mind. No, 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 no. My bad. This is the car number 94, Bill Elliott. Boy, this sure likes to take a while. underneath ah uh, I see what they did okay they tied it they tied it on the, to this well that's alright I'm gonna show you the car anyway Make this quick, you know. I don't want like to hold up. This car is brought to you by this diecast is brought to you by Renault. Go ahead, put this back in. Nice, and back me nicely back in the books. Go ahead, movie spots. They got wait coming up next. Oh, I bet y'all are gonna like this one. Number eleven on FedEx, Danny Hamlin. You're probably asking me, why are you so into NASCAR? I grew up with NASCAR since Dale Earnhardt. I wasn't enjoying the watching the full race, but I totally enjoyed these cars, man. Because these are nice. Oh, 
we'll put them back in the in the box later. We have to we have to get this going. We have to finish this. All right, we got my favorite driver. The only thing I learned about Lowe's is when I went to the store back in um, in the 90s, late 90s. They gave out like free calendars of, from NASCAR. And I did find out that Jimmy Johnson was the Lowe's. Car number 48. And you can see his full name right there, Jimmy Johnson. This car is sweet. Always, I always love this one. The old Lowe's number 48. He did, last time, what I've heard, that he did win the Texas Motor Speedway. So he's got a really nice blue NASCAR. Oh, didn't mean to hit the camera. <laughs> yep, he has to go back in. Because all the cars have to stay in the box until I have my track. Once I have my track, we'll be building a lot of races. I am a racist. <laughs> Get it? If you are, if you love racing, makes you a racist. <laughs> oh goodness! You know I'm just cracking on you guys. I'm not for real. All right, up next, car number eighty-eight, Dale Jr. I had him once. I don't even know what happened to him. I lost the car. I had to buy another one. Whoop. There you go. This is the this is the closest I can get to the replica of the Dale Earnhardt. All right, we're back. Sorry about that, y'all. Just uh. Sony Handycam was telling me that I am low on the time, time, and I have to change cameras. So we're going to finish up on Dale Earnhardt, then we're moving on to the next one. We may not even need the boxes anymore. I think we're just going to, like, keep, keep them in these kind of containers. Because these plastic containers can protect the cars, protect the frames. I just want to go back and just waste more of my time. Come on. Can you get your big finger out of the way? Shut up. All right. We only have three more to go. Let's play a little game here. <laughs> Any mini money mo catch the driver by the toe if he wins let him go any money mo ah, I keep messing up <laughs> any mini money mo catch the driver by the toe if he wins any mini money mo you are totally it all right so we got the left one now you guys are gonna get a little mad at me okay um, I know we all love Dale Earnhardt but this is not the Dale Earnhardt car but actually it is so this is also Dylan. So I did find out that Austin Dillon has um, started driving this, and the only car that happened that he flew off the track and hit the safety fence was this car, the Bass Pro Shops. You don't believe me? Look it up.
Go ahead and put them back in the box. All right. Now, I know we all love Tony Stewart, but... Who, who... Let me see. All right, I, I had to do a little research before I even continue. So now we know exactly who was car number 24. The last race was Jeff Gordon back in 2015. I really like this car. This was like one of my top favorites I've ever seen. And this is actually Jeff Gordon's car. So we have two of them. But this could be changed out instead of Jeff Gordon. Instead of Jeff Gordon. Who was it? William Byron can be able to drive this one. Because Jeff Gordon has retired from NASCAR in 2015. This is the reason why I pick, picked up his car. Because I really love the fire. As you see here. I really love the design of this vehicle. I really love it. I'd like to show you guys when I put things back in. Why not? Have a little fun. <laughs> waste more of your time. Why did I waste my life weight making this video? Because I can. <laughs> All right, the final car. Now I know she was, she was the first female NASCAR back in the day, and from my perspective, I mean she was a good racer in the F, F, in the uh, Indy series, but she was not used to how you have to avoid touching e uh, each other because I know the wheels can uh, really go over the Indy and kind of really screw you up. But, from my perspective, I really felt bad that she wrecked a lot, so I decided to buy this die cast, the car, the car number 10, which is not the exact one, but is, is the best I can get, is the Joe Daddy, number 10, Danica Patrick. I mean, she was, she was a good racer, I really, I really uh, heard about that. And she never won the race at all. Her car always keep wrecking. So we're gonna be having this GoDaddy car in the race because I really like I really like her color. The green color of the number 10 and the GoDaddy. It's go time. Alright, so that was the final car that we have pulled out of the box. I'm thinking about to get two more to complete. Uh, 30 cars So far I have 28 so I need just a couple more And that way we'll be able to complete our six lane grid for our uh, Race for the road course as, and as a uh, dragster Now I know you guys truly enjoy my train simulators and I understand But I want to be honest with you I would like to get this out of the package, but I'm afraid the car will get scratched up, but we have the bubble wrap, and we'll, I'll make sure I'll protect it. It's time to open this up. The winner's circle. I'm going to carefully put around the package. Or that way, whichever works. Oh, okay. All right. So, I'll find a car that we're going to pull out. What we're gonna pull out from our package is the number three Dale Earnhardt. Let's go ahead and show it all on the video on the camcorder so you'll be able to get a better view. And here it is. The winner circle 
of the 1999 Dale Earnhardt. Does a, I mean, I'm, I never seen this here, but I saw this was the cheapest I could find uh, for the diecast, and that's the reason why. As you can see, they're the same, same kind of design that Dale Earnhardt drove back in the 90s. And I and I became a fan of his after I found out um, during the race. This was it was actually live, and I just see him crash on turn number four, and it was really really devastating for everybody, including me. So as you can see, we we do have the car number three, Dale Earnhardt, and I need I need to get his car in my race. I understand a lot of drivers have retired. But, in my heart, they're still the best racers. And yes, they are going to race on my tracks. They are going to race on my tracks. Dale Earnhardt, Danica Patrick, Jimmy Johnson, Tony Stewart, Jeff Gordon, and some of the uh, former drivers that retired. What I want to try to get is two, two more NASCARs so I can be able to complete my... Um, my collection. All I need, all I need is about thirty cars to be able to complete my um, grid because we're gonna buy the six way, six lane, um, downhill dragster, which we're gonna convert it into like a a road course. But I think you guys are gonna totally love it. All right, um, gonna show you one final thing before I go. Here is the sticker, and it says for. Intended for use on glass surfaces only. So it sounds to me if I if I do get a new vehicle, we're gonna put this sticker up. Because I really, 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 really miss Dale Earnhardt. And I also got his autograph right there. Can't really see it, but let me see if I can turn this off. There you go. That's better. Now y'all can see. There's Earnhardt. Autograph right there. So yeah, we're gonna have his this sticker up on the window of my vehicle or somewhere on the tracks. We'll see. All right. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, it's been a heck of a lot of fun. And what I want to do is to get um, I want to get Michael Waltrip's car, Dale Earnhardt, Dale Earnhardt Jr.'s car. We don't have the number 8, nor I'm planning to get the number 8, because I got the number 88, which is like my most favorite, because the number 8 reminds me of Bill Elliott car. I kind of don't like his full red. I mean, it looks okay, but I really, really like the different colors of different um, NASCARs that they did. Uh, like, the back in the day, they had the Kodak. The Kodak is not bad. I mean, I really like their full color. Napa, um, Super Cuts. Uh, the car number 10, uh, Mar Martins, all the, all the goody two shoes that they had back in the day, and I really, really enjoyed it. A lot of people are in getting into the, uh, Hot Wheels, so, I never had Hot Wheels when I was a kid, but, at least I'm not gonna get any, any Hot Wheels cars, because I got these instead. NASCAR has been my favorite since the very beginning from this. After I watched, in 2001, February 18th, this is, uh, he became my favorite, my number one favorite, and then Dale Earnhardt, then Jeff Gordon, Jeff Gordon, then Tony Stewart, then others, Mark Martin, I really, I really love this kind of a color that he had, uh, back in those days. Um, I had the Legos, uh, car number six, which was Mark Martin's, but I prefer die cast because I like to have cars. I don't like to push cars, I rather let the gravity move the cars going downhill in the race. Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, we'll be doing more breakfast. I mean, we're, we have a poll right now. Uh, we're going to add another poll in the channel community. So I can be able to um, find out exactly what you guys like on the track. You like, if you guys like oval, if you guys like road courses, or if you guys like figure eight. Um, I really like the figure eight the most because the figure eight, you, you like, you smash into each other. You know? I mean... You crash and you go, <laughs> you know. So we're gonna try to get more of the figure eight. Plus, I like the road courses as the cars come 
uh, head to head with each other. So Hell Ride was one of them uh, that had two um, 180 and then one full 180 from the opposite direction, hit the ramp, and then try to try not to smash each other. And I think it's, it's a lot of fun for, for this kind of a race. And I like to do the wreck fest. Um, I just want to, like, I know about Farming Simulator. I know you guys love Farming Simulator. But the problem is, is that I'm doing this on my channel. Hardly have any likes. That kind of, like, put me on the downside. Not much, but just a little bit. So, don't feel bad about it. It's okay. I know you guys. I know. I know. Some of you guys don't like racing, and I understand. But the thing is, is that if I stick to train simulators all my life, I'm going to go crazy. I cannot just stick to run eight for the rest of my life. I want to go out rail fanning because I want to catch some trains that we literally want to catch. And I had a friend that told me about the, the cold train, have four UPs. I was like, and then he told me that they started running in. And I asked, what time is going to get here? He said 3 a.m. in the morning. I was like, dang it. <laughs> Bastards. They took the trains away from me. So I kind of got upset about CSX, but other than that, eh, whatever. Don't matter. <laughs> we'll catch this. We'll catch this some other time. All right. So, <sighs> farming simulator is okay. It's a lot of fun. We have to do with harvesting and all that stuff. And you work together. You do work together. But I've done it before, and for the record, I think it's just dying out on Twitch TV. So we're gonna try to do some of the farming simulators on YouTube if we can. But if you're not interested in farming simulators, don't worry about it. Um, also, not only I want to get into the train simulator, I want to get into the HO scale. I really did purchase uh, two more. I might as well show y'all now. Might as well show. I did get me, and this was required for my layout, two more of the Chester System bus cars. And yes, they do open. Both sides, they open. See? What are you looking at, butthead? <laughs> so yeah, I got, I got these two. Because I want to make my uh, layout... Like a Strasbourg kind of thing, but then I found out what Pike stuff had, and I'm happy that I did get it. And it's for mainly for the boxcar. It's the Pike's uh, Pike stuff loading dock. So I got that one too. All right, that's all I gotta show y'all. I mean, it was just quick. Bum 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 out the door. All right. See you guys next time on the next DC 2057. We're going to be coming up. We're going to be doing Run 8 Rail Fanning. I really enjoy Rail Fanning more than Driving Trains. Because Driving Trains is kind of a little boring. Because you just sit there and drive trains. I'm looking for something I can be able to do. Uh, more activity than sitting in front of a... Well, front of, instead of sitting in front of the computer. Getting fat. Oh, there's only me, other people do. But I prefer to do HO scale, which you move around. Plus, NASCAR, Hot Wheels, Diecast. This is the next thing I want to do on my channel. I want to add <coughs> rail fanning in real life. Run 8, rail fanning. And we're going to do some driving trains as well. Not much. Um, Wreckfest. I know it's gonna die out, die out on me. Not many people like NASCAR on breakfast, I, and I understand. But that's the only thing I'm gonna do for now, until I have this race ready to go. Uh, it's gonna be my bedroom. I don't know. Depending how much room I'm, I'm gonna get when I built myself uh, my racetrack. All right. Good night, everybody. God bless you. Got speed. <laughs> I'll see you guys on the next DC 2057 coming up next. I know I was supposed. I know I said earlier on the breakfast coming up next is the running rail fanning, but I had to do the video for my NASCAR because I just received Bubba Wallace today, and I'm hoping to get two more NASCARs and then I'm all set. All right, y'all take care. God bless you all. Coming up next on the DC 27 running rail fanning. Peace out. Why are you still here? Get out of here! Oh, so you don't want to leave, huh? You don't want to get out of here, huh? Okay, okay. I see how you are. Alright. Well, as Mr. Mako used to say, do not boop the boop.
pooper. Well, guess what? Boop! Oh, that failed. <laughs> that totally failed. Oh! That totally failed. Boop! 